But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Yo, my beautiful people, Wagwan! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Yeah, man, fix up that thing. Huh? People, just saw an article on Loop News, guys, and I could make that one a pass. I had to address it. I know I'm so I not do nothing in a while. Yeah, man, make uh, like a one video maybe per week now. <laughs> because. Guys, I've been really, really busy. It's a Christmas season, as you guys know, the winter season. And uh, we have a lot of things going on there at work. So it's, it's kind of difficult for me to do regular videos, right? It's, it's certainly difficult to have a full-time job and to upload on YouTube, you know, every day. Thank you for understanding and thank you for joining me on this video, guys. So, this video, why I tell you, they have a saying in Jamaica, we say, if you can't hear, you will what? You will feel. And some time ago, guys, I did look at a situation there with Tommy Lee Sparta. So, earlier this year, guys, Tommy Lee Sparta, a well known dancehall artist there in Jamaica, was detained under the state of emergency and he was held in lockups for quite some time guys and they finally released him without charge uh, we saw some things happening where they arrested some members of the sparta gang and then suddenly everything got quiet so the video i did earlier about tommy Lee sparta i actually said in that video that i hope that tommy Lee sparta will stay out of trouble and steer away from bad company and steer away from criminals. And I was hoping, guys, that when Tommy Lee Sparta was released from jail somewhere in August there this year, guys, I was hoping that he would have really stay out of trouble and focus on music. And I know a lot of youths in Jamaica look up to dancehall artists, but me always I say a whole heap of dancehall artists when you hear them with certain tune, when you hear them with the gunman lyrics, when they bad man tune, some of them are live the life people. When you hear them with the gangster tune, a lot of them are living the life, right? And them sensationalize the thing and make it look like say, the gangster life is a better role, but me can't tell you no people as, a, as an ex-police officer, who have, who have seen so much, um, you know, as it relates to criminality and, and see where gangster life makes some people end up, I can tell you, it's something to stay away from. So the news, guys, as it relates to Tommy Lee Sparta, I mean, don't want to talk about the thing too much without getting to the point. Tommy Lee Sparta reported held with illegal gun. Controversial dancehall entertainer Tommy Lee Sparta may find himself in jail this Christmas. The Corporate Communication Unit of the Police Force has confirmed that law enforcers reportedly held the DJ with an illegal gun in the corporate area on Monday and is likely to be slapped with a charge of illegal possession of firearm within the next 24 hours. People, big up to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, our hard-working police officers, right? The DJ was held a short while ago. I don't have any details at this point, but we will have more soon, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the CCU, told Loop News on Monday evening. Earlier this year, the DJ was held for weeks under the state of emergency in St. James. Upon his release, attorney at law Ernest Smith told the media that there was a personal vendetta being directed towards his client by the cops. Only a uh, what Mr. Smith ago said no. Eh? A target then target eh, eh, eh. in client again. And that him ago say. When ago say the police then plant gun pan him client. I wouldn't be surprised if he come out with that theory. You understand? But it's a very sad day for Tommy Lee Sparta. Right? I tell you, you know. 
badness no appear and anything that is hidden in the dark must come to light. So Smith said Tommy Lee Sparta had lost over $100 million in revenue over the last four years as a result of unfair targeting from the cops whom he accused of locking off events on which he was billed or pressuring him off shows. Contacted on the matter on Monday evening, Smith said he had heard of the alleged incident but had so far not been contacted by either the artist's management or relatives. If he wants to be free, tell him to contact me, declared Smith in relation to the development. <laughs> Mr. Ernest Smith, not easy, you know. He thinks that that, that turned it easy. <laughs> Uh, Tommy Lee Sparta, whose real name is Leroy Russell, has had several run-ins with the law over the last six years. In 2014, he was arrested and charged for lottery scamming related offenses after police raided a house in the Kingston 5 area that was believed to have been occupied by the uh, um, entertainer. And guys, as you all know, I was a part of that operation, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, MOCA, the Lottery Scam Task Force, led that operation, guys. A laptop reportedly belonging to the DJ was seized after it was said to have been found with personal information of several United States residents. The artist was, however, freed four years later. The same year, he was denied entry to Dominica after arriving in that Caribbean island to perform at a major concert. Tommy Lee is known for popular songs such as Under Vibes, Soul Reaper, and Blessings. People, this situation with Tommy Lee Sparta is not surprising. It is really not surprising based on some of the allegations out there, right? And some of the intelligence that I have gotten over a period of time. Um, and I've always said that I just time do everything, right? If a man feel like, say, he want a life of badness, then his end will never be good. Guys, I said earlier that I did a video earlier this year and me tried to send out a little warning to Tommy Lee, say, stay out of badness, drop the bad company, right? If you even used to be in it, right? Since you, 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 you get locked up much time and you get off, right? And for whatever reason you get up, I don't know if Mr. Mr. Um, <laughs> Smith has some kind of magician. I don't know how Mr. Smith will get him out of the one, right? Um, but, you know, the, the situation, guys, is that it's not looking good for Tommy Lee. And I feel like it is going to go downhill from here for him, right? Because um, definitely, you know, when you find an illegal firearm on somebody, Right? Based on the story, them said so them find him with an illegal firearm. And there are two ways you can possess, you know, something. You can do it, you have actual possession where you find it on the person. To prove actual possession is quite easy. Um, the news never said whether them find the gun on his person or not. But that is what we call a, a prima facie matter, right? And uh, it's usually, you know, very difficult to get around in the court. Um, constructive possession, no, is he uh, probably never necessarily have it on in person, but he had control and access to it. So if them find time house, if them find it in him care, you know, it, it, it can have other arguments with say boy, I want him friend left it there, or somebody can give a ride and then probably drop the gun in him. Can have more arguments, you know, when it comes on to constructive possession. Um, so, you know, we don't have a lot to go off, but I just wanted to put this out there, guys. So certainly, whether it is actual possession or constructive possession, he will be spending some time in jail right um obviously he will be charged you know if the news has put forth the information accurately and uh, based on the news it is coming from um miss stephanie lindsay who is in charge of ccu right and and so it's coming from a good source so obviously right it is is definitely going to be charged based on based on my um assessment guys um, and if he's charged, 
then you know you might as well get bail on them something there um guys for a gun charge a po illegal possession you know we're looking at two years there um you know uh, there is a i think there is a mandatory sentence when it comes on to possession of illegal firearm so tammy lee sparta might definitely see himself spending some time in jail and i'm sure after police officers will be happy about that a whole heap of people you know will be happy about that based on as me say intelligence we may get from in the streets you understand a whole heap of people say tammy lee a wicked man that's the allegation out there right but can't hear your feel i mean me not understand if a man i go through so much something with the law right and you get off so much time. You, you look I go run out one day if you don't stop, you know. You look I go run out if you don't start distance yourself from certain things. Right? So I don't understand, you know, a man like this who make it in the music business, focus on music, no man. Put down the badness, left the badness on the road, no man. And focus on music and build your thing and, and, and look after your family and, and, and make some money from the music and chill, man. Eh? Have some positive influence on the youth, them no man. Boy, I mean, I tell you. Mm. Anyway, people, just want, wanted to put this out there. Um, you know, as per usual, guys. And I know I'm not upload as, as often as I should. But, guys, please support the channel. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Noble Cup. You understand me? I say, don't forget to subscribe. People, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out, Yaman. Yeah, Alright?